Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today we shall discuss module six on the fallacies, origin, uh, uses, and different kinds of fallacies, whether semantic or material fallacies. Okay. So, fallacies, mm -hmm. the origin. The word fallacy originated from the Latin word fallio, which means I deceive. Searles defined it as any process of reasoning or arguing which fails to satisfy the requirements of logical validity, whether formal, semantic, or material. As I have said a while ago, we have a semantic fallacy and we have material fallacy. An informal fallacy is about the form, the proper and valid form of syllogism. So, <clears throat> The word value, uh, sometimes uh, we can see this in our uh, dogma. The Pope or the Church is infallible in matters of uh, faith and morals concerning salvation. Kaya kung ang Church hindi siya infallible or cannot commit an error, the whole Christendom will just fall into error and nobody will go to heaven. No? So, in... Uh, Fallible, double negative equals positive. No? So, itong value naman uh, sa fallacies means uh, erroneous no? or uh, this, uh, deceiving. Okay, fallacies are erroneous kinds of reasoning. Next is uh, that a fallacy is committed either intentionally or unintentionally. If it is intentionally, Meaning to say you have committed the sin no? because just like lying a bit, you intend to lie. No? So by words and by your thoughts, by your action, uh, it's a really a sin. It can be a mortal sin. But if it is not your intention to lie, wala ka bi kabalos in the whole facts or nalipad ka bi, no? sincerely, there is no uh, error there. It is beyond your means. So a fallacy committed intentionally is called sophimism. No? Binhungod-hungod niya nga. Uh, imali ang uh, argument so that you will fall into error and uh, in order that you will be deceived. This is actually evil. A term derived from the sophists of ancient Greece who took pride in calling themselves the wise or the wise men. So mga sophists are those people who claim to be philosophers, but they just want money. No? Um, they can play uh, black and white. Kung white ka, black sila. Kung, um, um, uh, kung uh, black ka, white sila. No? So they're not actually concerned about the truth. They're concerned about winning arguments no? for the sake of arguments and for the sake of money. This is not the, the essence of a philosopher. A philosopher is a lover of knowledge, a lover of wisdom, a lover of truth. So, next. Uses. Anong gamit ng uh, study of fallacies? The study of fallacies has been an integral part in the study of logic. Its uh, contribution its contribution in systematizing and improving one's thinking and reasoning has been acknowledged since the birth of logic in ancient Greece. This was acknowledged even by the founder of logic, who is the founder and father of logic, Aristotle, who is the student of Plato, Plato being the student of the great uh, philosopher Socrates. That's why for me, I agree, class. No? That's why um, I asserted that we really take up uh, the topic on fallacy, you know? uh, jumping from uh, module four to module six immediately, you know? um, because we don't have much time anymore. Uh, so in a few weeks from uh, this time, we shall end our class. So we study fallacy. The study of fallacy has many good uses. One reason is based on the principle that one will not know what is right if he does not know what is wrong. So we should know what is right. At the same time, we should know what is wrong. 
that is a part of knowledge no para bagang mekaniko ka no alam mo anong tamang uh, pag uh, ayos ng sasakyan alam mo rin anong mga mali na pag uh, ayos ng sasakyan okay yun at the same time as moral persons we know that telling the truth is good and uh, we know that telling uh, lies is evil no cheating is evil okay so uh, that is it another reason is that the study of fallacies provides the student of logic an opportunity to review much of what he or she had learned about systematic thinking and correct reasoning no so dito tayo sa inference or reasoning first we studied the terms or concepts or word or words then we studied the propositions or declarative sentences from uh, terms and proposition. Uh, we um, we studied the uh, inference or reasoning. No? So deductive and inductive reasoning. And now we study the fallacies or wrong kind of reasoning. At the same time, we presuppose what is correct reasoning. Still another reason for the study of fallacies is that a person who is adept or a master in recognizing fallacies can guard himself or herself well from getting deceived. Deception. The devil is the father of deception. Adam and Eve were deceived by the ancient serpent in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. We don't like to be deceived. So. Uh -huh. Fallacies proliferate in many discourses, both written and oral. So the moment we use words, either written or oral, uh, we might commit fallacies and others may commit fallacies. And it is our duty to uh, correct uh, our understanding and um, correct our uh, thinking. Uh, knowledge of fallacies by uh, name gives the person greater advantage over his or her opponents in debates and discussions no? because you can point out to your opponent um, my friend you are not anymore discussing the the topic we are uh, debating on you are attacking me personally no? you don't like me you say that i am ugly that is not part of our debate no? our debate is on for example whether uh, there is god or not whether there is hell or not whether um, abortion is evil or not no? not on my uh, my um, physical features not whether you like me or not no? so argumentum ad hominem uh, you are attacking the person instead of the ideas so immediately my nas sa opponent mo yan sa debate no? he or she can point out the error readily and even give the name of the fallacy committed by his or her opponent Hmm. Next. Anna. Yet, in spite of these objections, ever since the time of Aristotle, no, treatises on logic have always included a discussion on fallacies. That's why, for me, uh, the most practical uh, way, no, magamit mo talaga even in uh, dis discourses and debates and in writing and in speaking, is the study on fallacies. Uh, and many good reasons can be advanced in support of traditional practice. Okay, so I uh, myself agree with this. Mm -hmm. So introduction lang ito, ah. We are not uh, yet uh, studying the specific fallacies. No? A physician aims at procuring health but nevertheless studies diseases. So too, a logician who aims at attaining correctness of thought must also study the pathology of thought or the diseases or the wrong way of thinking no? just like for example last night i was reading uh, father ronan callahan's uh, textbook or uh, outline on logic he mentioned about um, diabetes no? so diabetes is actually caused by so, so much sugar on the blood of the person no? so if you eat so much uh, rice or carbohydrates or bread <laughs> uh and even cakes and pastries um it will uh, these things will uh, shoot up your sugar no so from um, 
high sugar, later on you will have uh, diabetes type 2, and then later on the kidneys will collapse. So kidney troubles come in and it will eat, uh, your, it will, uh, eat out your uh, family economy or uh, you will lose so much money. So in, in order not to go there, no? so alam mo ang pathology, no? huwag ka magkaroon ng kidney disease at huwag ka magkaroon ng diabetes. So eat more, more uh, na ito, uh, uh, food na less in carbohydrates more on uh, good halimbawa good oil like um, olive oil or coconut oil or uh, chocolate uh, now without sugar or uh, avocado oil uh, kamote halimbawa etc so uh, you will have good health no okay now no classified uh, mm -hmm. No classification of fallacies is entirely satisfactory. No, kasi ang daming classifications. No? Sometimes they overlap. No? In the first place, no classification is exhaustive. No? Uh, abot tayo ng 30 or 40 or 50 kinds of uh, fallacies. No? Maubos ang whole semester natin dyan, no? But uh, we choose the most important ones. Indeed, it is probably impossible to draw up a complete list of fallacies. All we hope to do is to list the more common and more important types. Okay, so uh, let us now go to uh, the definition of fallacy and the different kinds of fallacies. So what is a fallacy? A fallacy is a kind of argument that seems to be correct or valid, but not so if examined carefully. So you can be deceived, no? uh, but if you examine uh, carefully, uh, then you will know that uh, this kind of uh, reasoning is wrong. And then a fallacy is also an erroneous or false reasoning. Thirdly, it is an argument that tries to persuade psychologically but logically incorrect. More on emotions, no? uh, but um, we're not dealing with emotions here. We're dealing with the logical uh, sequence of uh, one's idea or thought. Okay. Major types or kinds of fallacies. A, uh, semantic fallacies, also known as the fallacy of language, because uh, we uh, human beings use language more than the animals. No? The animals can use instincts, but we human beings are actually higher than animals and we use language. But language can have its uh, errors also. They are errors due to ambiguity or meaning to say um, vagueness or uh, uh, they are not clear in the meaning of words or errors due to confusion resulting in incorrect grammatical construction of judgment or reasoning. That's why, uh, as I have said before, no, grammar is important. No? Because in grammar, there is already a convention what uh, is the proper structure of a sentence or language to us to produce a correct um, sentence or correct uh, expression of ideas. So, kinds of semantic fallacies. No? Semantic fallacies uh, deals with uh, words and uh, language. Number one, animito. So listen carefully. Number one, the fallacy of equivocation. Equivocation equal means pareho uh, vocation, uh, uh, vocari, to call. No? It seems that um, the lawang meaning ng word nito, no? uh, amphiboli, no? uh, uh, related to equivocation, the fallacy of composition, uh, the, the whole versus the part. No? Uh, wag mong sabihin na yung whole uh, ay kagaya din ng parts. No? We will see to it no? uh, by and by. Uh, the fallacy of division, no? wag mong sabihin na ang um, each part is equivalent to the whole. No? Kasi magkaiba sila. And then the fallacy of accent, the way of pronouncing it. And then um, the fallacy of figures of speech. Meaning to say, these are not 
to be interpreted literally but figuratively, no? like simile, metaphor, synecdoche, uh, anthropom anthropomorphism, irony, etc. Hyperbole. So let's uh, have these material fallacies no? in uh, a schematic way only, no? in passing only. No? Uh, which the material fallacies which we shall discuss next meeting. Errors which spring from inattention or abuse of the subject matter or content of an argument. Kaya material, eh, the material used. No? The kinds of material fallacies. So, fallacy of accident. No? Yan. Hindi sa essential, kundi accident lamang. Exceptional siya. No? So, related to it is the fallacy of confusing the absolute and qualified statement. And then we have the fallacies of irrelevance, ignoratio ilenci, or ignorance of refutation. Ano mga halimbawa dito? A, B, C, D, and E. Argumentum ad hominem. Instead of uh, attacking the, the topic discussed, you attack the person. No? Sabihin mo kasi kayo mga itim o kayo mga puti kasi na racist kayo. So, hindi pwede. You just uh, discuss the the topic, not the person, not uh, attacking the person personally. Argumentum ad populum. Instead of discussing the merits of the um, of the topic, you just address the to the people. Oh, sinong gusto ng, ng uh, ice cream dito? Oh, versus bread? No? So, uh, in populum no pabuto-buto na lang yan no? hindi lahat na nagbubuto ay eh, tama sila eh, no just like during the time of Christ no uh, daming bumuto na i-crucify si Christ pero mali sila uh, argumentum ad misericordiam appeal to pity no sabi mo hindi siya pwedeng uh, ipriso kasi may anak pa yan siya may asawa pa siya who will be lonely no? so pero Naka-rape siya, nakapatay niya siya. Dapat siya priso, ma-priso talaga. No? Argumentum ad vericondium. No? Uh, appeal to authority. Especially the authority that you're appealing to is not an expert on that field. No? So, limbawa, appeal to authority mo. Appeal ka sa, sa, halimbawa, sa doctor of medicine. Pero ang pinag-usapan niyo is about, uh, is about mathematics. No? Mali yung authority mo. <laughs> Kung sa diseases, eh, appeal ka sa doctor. Pero kung sa mathematics, appeal ka sa doctor of uh, mathematics. No? Argumentum ad baculum. No? Uh, stick no? by force. No? Kung hindi kayo magboto sa akin, uh, you will be uh, taken out of your houses uh, from my agenda. So, uh, not a good kind of argument. No? And then, non sequitur, it, it does not follow from cause to effect. Petitio principi, begging the question. Hindi mo alam kung anong topic talaga. No? So, debate ka ng debate, hindi mo alam yung topic, kaya iba-iba ang sinasabi mo. No? False cause, post hoc ergo propter hoc. No? Sabihin mo, nagka-LBM ka. Sabihin mo, boom, ah, nag, nag, inom na naman ako ng, ng kape. Ah. Bakit nag-LBM ako? So, kape yung cause niyan. <laughs> At talagang kape, hindi nagpapa-LBM. <laughs> Yeah. Baka ibang cause yan. Baka may nainam ka ng tubig na marumi yan. Complex question. No? Hindi lang one question. Kundi complex. That's why you need to address the question one by one. Argumentum at ignorantiam. No? You are uh, not knowledgeable or you are uh, not knowledgeable of the topic. You're ignorant of it. No? So, uh, suppressed evidence. One side lang pinakita mo. Yeah, tinabunan mong other side. So, kaya mali yung conclusion mo. False assumption. Assuming ka lang, no? Assuming ka na steady kayo o mag-boyfriend uh, uh, or girlfriend kayo. Pero assuming lang pala, you know, wala talagang uh, closure, no? False analogy. Yung analogy mo mali, no? Uh, halimbawa mo mali. Illicit generalization. Uh, conclude ka agad na itong taong ito ay, uh, ay mabait naman tingnan. Siguro mabait ito, no? Okay? Tapos, inubos mo yung pera mo. Kung di, kawawa ka naman. No? And then, um, argumentum or argument from silence. No? Sabi ni iba, silence means yes. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, even in law, uh, ang person na nakakusahan, limbawa, ng rape or 
of Krimen or Bagbatay has the right to remain silent no, without his lawyer or else marami siyang sasagutin dyan no, or illegal dyan. No. So our, uh, silence does not necessarily means yes. Silence means just plain silence. No? Ayaw ko mag-argue dyan. Baka pupunta tayo ng uh, illegalities dyan. So, yan ay right natin as, as Filipinos, as citizens. No? The right to remain silent. Kinds of semantic fallacies. Okay, dito na tayo. Okay? Are you ready, class? So, isa-isa na natin na i-discuss ito. No? So, uh, one, fallacy of equivocation. This is committed when one assumes that words with the same spelling or sound are used with the same meaning. Halimbawa, ano? Okay? Example, a star is a heavenly body. Hmm? Bituin. Hmm? Tapos, Taylor Swift is a star. Therefore, Taylor Swift is a heavenly body. Ano ano conclusion mo dito? Wrong conclusion. Invalid argument. Kasi ibang meaning ng star dito sa first uh, proposition dito. Ah, ang star dito is uh, uh, physical na star talaga. No? Uh, heavenly body like uh, sun, moon, uh, or any star. No? Uh, ito naman, Taylor Swift is a star. Doesn't mean to say a heavenly being kasi no, a heavenly body kasi si Taylor Swift taga earth ito eh. No? Therefore, you cannot say that Taylor Swift is a heavenly body. So, next example. Fallacy mm -hmm. of amphibole. No? Occurs when one's proposition or sentence is ambiguous. No? Ambiguous. Sabihin mo ambiguous. Dalawang meaning. No? Due to incorrect or vague grammatical construction. Kaya magsadi ka ng law o magsadi ka ng ano ito, grammar talaga uh, the teacher will will uh, ano, will encourage you to write clearly no? examples of the notorious mm -hmm. the notorious criminal was arrested by the policeman who robbed the bank ang tanong ngayon sino ba talaga ang nagrob ng bank ang policeman o ang notorious criminal ah confusing ito no because it appears that the policeman he was the one who robbed the bank. Kasi sa grammar ito, class, ito ang relative pronoun na ho na ito is um, uh, near the noun policeman. It is modifying the policeman. So this modifier uh, is actually saying that the policeman robbed the bank. Kaya ang tawag dito sa grammar is dangling modifier no? or misplaced modifier. Kailangan itong uh, itong modifier mo, ilagay mo ito sa lapit dito sa criminal. The notorious criminal who robbed the bank was arrested by the policeman. So clear yung statement mo. Okay? Now, for sale. Example number two. A carriage for a baby with a damaged bottom. Oh, anong ibig mo sabihin? Ang baby mo may damaged na, na puwet o damaged na tiyan, ano? Uh, so, uh, kung i-check mo ito, sabihin mo, for sale, a carriage uh, with a damaged bottom for a uh, baby. No? Yan. So, yung modifier mo, eh, nilagay mo dito sa carriage. Hindi dito sa baby with a damaged bottom. No? Ang baby mo yun, yun ang damaged yan. Yun, sira dyan. No? Wanted, a house for a newly wed couple with a with three bedrooms and a garage, no? So, yung newly wed couple, tatlo ang bedroom nila at may garage pa, no? So, uh, ano ito? Uh, nine uh, minutes na lamang, no? Okay. So, uh, this, uh, that uh, is the fallacy of amphibole. Now, let's go to fallacy of composition. Results from taking ideas or things together when they should be taken separately or individually. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Example, if we combine the best basketball players of PBA, we shall make a great team. Hmm, ilang isa-isahin mo yan. Halimbawa, nakombine mo lahat ng mga forward dyan. <laughs> Walang center dyan. Walang guard dyan. O hindi pa rin best uh, team yan. Kailangan piliin mo talaga uh, na hindi lang yung, yung uh, 
yung individual na best talaga eh, yung ilagay mo sa team ganoon pa rin ang result no or number two dito because every part of this machine is light in weight therefore the whole machine is light in weight of course light yung weight ng mga nuts and bolts yung mga tuwerka diyan pero hindi ibig sabihin the whole machine is light in weight ang bigat bigat yan eh uh, so um, you should uh, uh, know the difference between the individual parts and the whole part no fallacy of composition ang uh, the next fallacy is the fallacy of division uh, opposite ito ng fallacy of composition this is the converse of the fallacy of composition it assumes that what is true of the whole is also true of the parts ito hasty generalization din ito no samples since Japanese are industrious people, every Japanese is industrious. Oh, does it really follow? Mayroon naman mga Japanese na sakitin or bigo sa buhay. <laughs> Hindi na gusto magtrabaho. So they are lazy. No? So don't uh, take the whole and, and, uh, then, uh, and then conclude that every part of it is like the whole no? or itong example. Since Philippines is the top religious country in the world, therefore, every Filipino is religious. Not necessarily so, because some Filipinos don't go to church. No? Yeah. Okay. Fallacy of accent. Anito. Results from the ambiguity of a word which has different meanings when accented differently. No? The way of pronouncing. Naman ito, eh, no? Example number one. No? Present. No? The first uh, uh, accent is in the first. The accent is in the first syllable. Present. It means gift. No? Just like the presence of the three wise men to Jesus. Pero sabi mo present. Oh, iba na may ito. Uh, verb ito. Eh. Ito ang isa noun. Eh. Uh, uh, present to introduce. No? Presenting. I am presenting to you our show. So iba na meaning yan. No? Ang isa na, ang isa verb, no? Yan. Or for example, here, itong parang kapatawanan nito, uh, pag may nagtrabaho sa daan, sasabi dyan palagi, go slow, men at work. No? Baka mahulog ang car mo dyan. Or alimbawa, ilagay mo ang kama sa uh, after the word na go. Go, slow men at work. No? Sige, magsihayo kayo. Mga mababagal ang mga tao na nagtatrabaho dito. Kaya babagal naman talaga magtrabaho yung iba dyan. Eh. Isang buwan na hindi pa tapos yung daan. No? Yan, kaka-traffic tuloy. No? Yan. So number six. Itong last na natin. Fallacy of figures of speech stems from a mistake of inferring similarity of meaning from similarity of word structure. Okay na. Ito always yung word structure. Examples. Hmm. Insufficient means not sufficient okay and inefficient means not efficient no? therefore invaluable means not valuable uh, mo, the most valuable player no? uh, mo, is invaluable no? ibig sabihin mo, talagang very very precious no? hindi mo kayang uh, lagyan ng value yeah. so uh, mga in ito mga prefix ito eh, no? These are negative prefix. So, in or im. No? Immortal. Ibig sabihin, not mortal. Not subject to death. No? So, uh, pero hindi lahat ng uh, negative prefix ay uh, nangahulugan ng same negative uh, meaning. No? Number two, a tactless person is without a tact. No? Tactless, uh, less, ito is negative suffix. Ano naman ito? Kasi at the end of the word. Eh. And a shameless, no? Without shame, no? without embarrassment. No? Wala, wala nang hiya ito. No? Therefore, a priceless person is without value or worth. No? A person, every person is priceless because we are made in the image and likeness of God. But it doesn't mean to say na pwede ka nalang patayin kasi wala ka namang price. Eh, no? Pero ang sinasabi natin, uh, prices, prices nga. No? Kaya... Um, Hindi pwedeng ipapatay ito because we are made in the image and likeness of God. No? Kasi yung iba, babayad lang ng 50,000 pesos. Papatay na yung kalaban nila sa politics o kalaban nila sa family nila. No? 
o nabanggaan ka dyan ng sasakyan, bibigyan ka naman lang ng 100,000 o 200,000 tapos ng labanan sa kaso. But it doesn't man say na ang halaga ng tao ay 100,000 lamang o 200,000 because every person is of infinite value. No? Just like the blood of Jesus Christ, infinite value, no? priceless blood of Jesus Christ shed in the cross of Calvary, walang gold o diamond na pwede ma mabibayad dyan. So, uh, yan uh, ang atin niya, end of our discussion class. No? I hope uh, we have learned or you have learned uh, something today and um, uh, which will uh, guide uh, every one of us in, um, in identifying wrong arguments and wrong reasoning. And we use this knowledge class not for uh, evil purposes, but we use knowledge for the for the truth, no? arriving at the truth. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any question, class? Do you have any question? Si Antay ma ma interpa o tapos na tayo ma interpa siya, no? Okay. Do you have any question, class? No more question. If there is none, then we uh, stop this recording.